This question came from Kira, who at age four and a half wanted to build a billion story building. Actually, it came from Kira's dad, who wanted to help Kira appreciate how big and difficult such a project would Kira. be. If you make a building too tall, the top part is heavy and it squishes the bottom part. Until you make it really tall, and then the top part will tear itself off and go into orbit near the moon. But we're Have you ever tried to make a tower out of jello? It's easy to make a little tiny wobbly jello castle. In fact, some people like to serve fancy jello that way. If you try to make a really big jello castle, the whole thing smushes down on itself. The same thing happens with buildings eventually. The buildings we make are strong. The tallest are almost a kilometer tall, and we could probably make buildings two or even three kilometers tall if we wanted, and they would still be able to stand up under their own weight. But too much higher, and we'd run into the jello problem. The top part would squish the bottom. There are other problems with tall buildings too. One is wind. The wind up high is very strong, and buildings have to be very strong to stand up against the wind. Another problem is, surprisingly, elevators. Tall buildings need elevators, since no one wants to climb hundreds of flights of stairs. If your building has lots of floors, you need lots of different elevators to get all the people where they're trying to go at once. Some of our existing tall buildings have floors purely dedicated to letting people change from one elevator to another. If you make a building too tall, the whole thing gets taken up by elevators and there's no space for regular rooms. Another big problem is money. A building several miles tall would cost many billions of dollars, and most people don't think giant towers a few miles tall are important enough to spend billions of dollars on. Even if you found a lot of money, you'd still have problems making a tower a billion stories tall. 